Hey there everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 2. We're playing as Scandinavia. And welcome back after... What's it been, like a week since the last video? Yeah, I've uh... I've been without power for 60 hours or so. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware or not, but there was a huge power outage in Toronto over the weekend. We had a pretty big ice storm that just knocked down a ton of power lines and whatnot. So yeah, that kind of kind of messed things up a little bit. But you no, know, we're back now, so let's uh, let's jump right back into it. I haven't played in a long time, so I honestly don't remember what the hell is going on. Why do we have race troops? Where were you guys at? Uh, can I check? But there was a way to check. There's no way to check. Um, where? Okay. Anyways, I'm killing. Who am I killing? I'm killing some some person, some kid. Why am I killing you again? I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember why I wanted to kill this kid. Did I want to take his stuff? Was that it? Eh, I don't know. All right, sure. Why not? Whatever. I don't like him apparently. So die, little child, die. Um, what is this? Scottish band. Wait, I had mercenary. Oh my god, I have just been out of it. Apparently, I had some mercenaries somewhere, and they are now not mine anymore. Okay, sure, why not? Whatever. Why are we losing so much money? Why? Why are we lose? Why we lose so much? Um, hmm, let's. I can check that. I can check that. Um. Mercenaries. Oh, okay, that's probably gonna go away pretty soon, though. All right. Anyways, uh, let's get going. Uh, I'm actually not going to be doing any sort of warring or anything right now. Uh, actually, where's Yara uh, Simander? Yay, my! Yay, yay, yay! Awesome, awesome. So my heir is loved by everybody, well, except for this guy. Nice. So he's pretty much gonna be in power everywhere. I'm tempted to bump up the feudal taxes as well. How do these guys feel about me? Largely okay. Oh, was I just killing him because he was he didn't like me? No, no, I don't okay, sure, why not? Um yeah, so I'm not going to be doing any warfare or anything like that until I can go on a grand hunt. So yeah. Between or after after September because I want to get rid of Craven. I don't like having Craven. Craven sucks. People don't like me for being Craven, right? Yeah, it's Legia's Craven. It's only minus five penalty, but yeah, no, it's got to be done. Uh, who's abroad? My daughter. Where are you? You are in Oslo. Why does that count as abroad? Oh, I guess that could see she's in a different court. All right. Anyways, uh, I do want to see where. Are we, uh... Ooh, nice. We have plenty of space there for more people. And Jarl Carl is not a dick anymore. Nice. Good job, Carl. Yeah, I am going to have to give away all these kingdoms at some point, but I'm not going to just yet. It's great. So we killed a kid. Um, awesome. Wait, it said it was murdered on my orders, but... Um, it doesn't seem like he actually knew... Uh, yeah, it doesn't mean like he actually was aware that I killed him, so I don't think I got a negative penalty with anybody, right? Yeah, no, we're, we're still good. Okay. Uh, well, we have these guys up here. You guys wanna, you guys wanna do something maybe? Let's, uh, who is... Let's go raiding. Yeah, let's go raiding. We can actually know, you know what, we've got a bit of time, let's go for a little war. There's actually something I've been meaning to do, because the uh, Holy Order for the Norse, unfortunately they only have one Holy Order, which kind of blows, but the uh, the Norse Holy Order um, has some unique conditions for it to be activated, so you need to have one of these four pieces of land, I believe. Actually, it might be one of these three. Yeah, I think it's one of these three. And I think it has to be owned... I don't know, like, I've honestly, I've been reading mixed <laughs> things on it. Some people are saying that it just needs to be owned by a Norse person. Other people are saying it needs to be owned by a Catholic person. 
and the year has to be at least 920. So we might as well attack this guy and try to take it. I believe we can... Volograd? Yeah, that's that's this whole chunk, so we might as well just take that. Uh, it might drag Poland in and Pomerania, but, you know, that's whatever, that's fine. Uh, but we're not going to declare war just yet. We're going to bring these guys over first. So, okay, I guess we got to wait for the boats. Yeah, so we're going to do that, and um, I'm actually going to end up actually installing a Catholic ruler in one of those provinces just to see how it works out. And, uh, yeah, we will uh, we'll go from there. Let's park you in here. No, we'll go in there. This whole scene in there? Good, good, good. Yeah, so we'll, uh, you, you, oh, we got 75 gold. That is actually super handy. Uh, can I do anything with this gold? I know there were things that I need to do with monies. But I can't remember exactly what to... Oh, yes, this, this. Do I want more retinue? Some cavalry might not be bad. I've, I've heard heavy cav is actually really, really strong. Uh, so we're using 7,000. We can have up to 8,400. How much do these guys use? They use 600, so we can have, we can get two more of these guys? Um, hmm. Kind of tempted just to get one more heavy infantry just for the hell of it. I know it's going to mess up the, uh, the cap, and it's probably better to go archers and heavy infantry, but nope, we're going to go with that. Yeah, so now we can't really do anything else. Uh, the cap is going to increase soon, and when that does, I will put another point in there. Yeah, looks like the skirmisher retinue is the cheapest. Anyways, uh, retinue, there you are. We'll send you down here to join the party. Oh great, now he favors himself again. Dangerous factions, independence, hello, what is this? Independence for who? Independence for... This is like Wales and, and Ireland and stuff. You guys, stop being jerks. All right, we need to. Who is uh, who is this leader of the faction? We need to deal with this. Desmond, you jerkbag. Can I give you a title here? Have a title. Be happy. And um, <laughs> where's dude? Where are you? You're a nomadol. I assume there was some scheming going on in nomadol, but not anymore. Yeah, he's got forty-six percent chance of discouraging him. Excellent. Everybody else, I believe, is uh, is good. You're still trying to fabricate a claim in, in Dublin. Wait, he's independent now. Buddy, do you wanna... Oh, he's not independent. Oh, he's still at war. God, you guys are still going. Holy crap. Alright, well, I guess we're I guess we're good for now. Hmm. Now, I don't like this whole dangerous faction thing, but not much I can do about it. Wow, so Sudriar is going against Scotland again. <laughs> what a mess out there. Okay, where, where are my damn boats at? There they are. So yeah, as I was saying before, I think, before I interrupted myself, um, I'm going to... What's that? Reduce the revocation of... Good, sure, whatever. Um, I'm going to be installing a Catholic ruler in one of these provinces just to see if that does anything. Uh, and I know they also need to have a free holding. So, yeah, there's free holdings everywhere, because the, the Yom, Yom's Vikings, Joms Vikings, I don't know how you pronounce their names, but, uh, yeah, the, those guys, the Holy Order, they are, King Under is a subdirt title, oh, okay, so we've had a little change of power in Scotland, I, are we still allies? We're not still allies, ooh, interesting. Hmm, 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 I could claim Sc- oh wow, there's like nothing, and I could claim it for this random old Norse lady. Uh, what about... Layman's? Anybody want to come to my court? Ooh, this guy does. I am actually going to invite him to my court. Yeah, I'm going to invite him, and I will probably land him at some point and go after Scotland, because I think that's a good idea just to to deal with Scotland right now. And while I'm here, actually, anybody here? Nope, nobody from Sudriar. 
Uh, what's this? Galloway. Okay, that's a no-go. Anybody from Jorvik? Let's check Jorvik again. Yes, we have somebody from Jorvik. Alright. The Chancellor of... Ooh, this is a pretty good guy, too. Alright, sir, you come to my court. Uh, yeah, no, we'll keep the other guy in power. This guy is pissed. Why? Because I imprisoned him at some point, right? Yeah, whatever, guy. Stop getting pissy about it. I don't even care about you. You can you can just stay pissy. We have a truce expiring with King Celered the Fat. Ah, oh, down here. Right, this whole insanity that's going on over here. I can't... I don't have a Cassus Bounty against you, really? Are you... Oh, is that Queen of Scotland? Oh, wow, alright. So that's where his alliance is. I can't murder, and can't murder. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Whatever, we'll let them have their fun out there. I really don't like this dangerous faction business, though. Yeah, I know I should give away the uh, some of my kingdoms, and I will at some point. Just uh, not, not quite yet. I want to form all the duchies first. Tavestishus has been converted. Awesome. Cool, so one guy is coming to our court, and there's the other guy coming to our court. Great. So now we have a couple of claims. Oh no, that's that's what I wanted to do. Ooh, look at this beauty. What is that? Cathar? Is that Cathar in the former capital of Scotland? Are you Cathar? You're not Cathar. Alright, whatever. Well, it looks like there's just one more county over here in, uh, like, mainland Scandinavia, or the, the area of Scandinavia that we care about, because, I mean, really... Really? I mean, who cares? What are you doing? Why are you fighting? Okay, you're fighting uh, somebody's thinks you're tyrannical. Alright, whatever. I don't particularly care. In fact, I could kill him. Nah, I'm not going to kill him. Actually, I wanted to check something, since I'm not actually murdering anybody right now. And you should always, you know, try to have somebody being murdered. Uh, let's go to... Where? Where? Where at? Possible inheritance is awesome. So now we'll check this, and we will see a Baron. We got a Baron over here. The Baron of Jelling. Where is Jelling? Jelling is in here. So I could take that Barony from him. Eh. I kind of want to give away Jelen at some point, so I don't... Mm. Nah, we'll, we'll hold off. I'd rather murder somebody who has... A, uh, a lot of money. Yeah, no, that's not a lot of money. What about you? That's a decent amount of money. We will then murder your face, young sir. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get the money from him, we'll get the title, we can give it away to somebody else. I don't really care about the title, but he is an ambitious little brat, so I'm actually... Yeah, <laughs> this is actually a really good idea regardless. Why does he hate me so much? Is it the, uh, electric titles and ambitious? Come on, you're... How old is he? He's 11, and he's ambitious, and he's... <laughs> I, I feel like the ambition sh Oh, whoops, I think I just knocked my microphone there. I think the ambition thing shouldn't really count until... Uh, until, like, he reaches 16, or, you know, becomes of age. Because he can't do anything until then, so... It is if I see... As, it is as if I see... Wow, that's a bit of a tongue twister. As if I see Vigdis, is that my wife? Yes. For the first time, her good nature is spared, the blah 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 blah. So, um, the Empress could fall in love with me. Yes, sure, why not? Do it. I'll get some piety out of it. Have some more kids. Hopefully we'll have, a uh, range marriage. What's this? The heir to the Kingdom of Scotland. Do we want an alliance with Scotland again? Hmm... Okay, before I do that, let's see if I can get a matrilineal. I don't think I... I'm pretty sure I've checked this before and I can't. I mean, there's this guy, and this is the guy with the claim on... On the thing. On Scotland, right? It's the guy with... Uh, no, that's not how you check. Yeah, that's the guy with... Oh, he's got a claim on Sudriar and Scotland. So if I actually marry her to him matrilineally, then their children will be of my dynasty, and I can invade Scotland in his name. 
and Sudriar. <laughs> hmm. In fact, yeah, I should probably... I, w I should go for Scotland first, because this would pass on to his, uh, his son. And then I'd be able to push that claim for the son, which would be of my dynasty. So I think I'm actually going to do that. I think this is the best idea here. So where is Nice? Nice, where are you at? Who's this? Asa. Oh, my uh, aunt? Half-sister. Holy crap, she's old. How old am I? I'm 33. She's 51. Oh, she's the oldest, right? I think she was the oldest uh, child of Heraldor. Yeah, she was the, the badass. Can I get you married to anybody? Naturalenio, anybody? Um, she's got the claim, so I don't really want to give anybody a claim. Mm, what about... Like, do these guys have claims on anything? You know what? You can you can stay single in your old age. You're not you're not going to provide babies anyway, so there's no point in even trying to find an appropriate marriage that way. So where is the dude? Dude, where's where's dude? This guy, right? The ivory guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this guy. All right, and if it isn't, then I just made a mistake. But no, it's it's almost definitely that guy. And we're actually coming up on uh, on the time for the hunt. Uh, how many troops do you have? Can I just like steamroll you? He's got 1,600 troops. It's going to be close. Yeah, let's just declare war on him. Let's get it over with now. Alrighty, we will get some leaders on these armies. I am not going to lead anymore because the Craven is actually going to hurt quite a bit. Minus 1% morale defense, minus... 1% da- oh actually uh, the damage is from uh, defender trade. And uh, oh apparently I've got heavy foot troops and mountain troops, really? What? That was- hold on. Was I misreading that? Oh okay, no, the, uh, the mounted troop uh, penalty is from being the heavy infantry leader. Okay, fair enough. But no, we're not going to be leading, we're going to stay at home because we're craven, you know, we're- we're, we're craven. We're scared. Okay, Svein, you're useless. What about you, sir? This'll do. Um, you have combat in... What is that? Flat terrain. Oh, let's make sure that we're good. Uh, terrain, plain, plain, farmland. Perfect. That's exactly what we need, so you can be the leader of the armies. Good, sir. And then we'll get... Um... Yeah, sure. We'll get Frederick on the side there, and... We will get this Holy Warrior on the other side, because he is going to be fighting against... Yeah, he's Norse, so he's going to be fighting against a different religion, so that should give him some bonuses. And now, let us also raise... I don't... Can we get out of here? Okay. Oh, I thought the, uh, the cap was different. I was looking at the wrong number. We don't have as many troops as I'd like. We still have that damn dangerous faction, though. Which might even fire off at some point. Hmm. And I've got a little bit of money, but I don't really want to spend money on these guys. So we'll just have to hope that my spy master does his damn job out there. Okay, well let's uh, get some troops out here. How do you feel about me? You are good, okay. I'm just checking the uh, to see if there's a penalty for the raised levies, because I don't want to raise levies for these guys. I don't want to piss them off too much. Alright, so you give me some levies, you give me some levies. What about Vester Gotland? I don't see it. There's too many, there's a lot of things on there, so I can't even tell half the time if I'm missing it or not. But I think I'm good. So you guys come out here, and then we'll raise all my troops. And then we will do it this way. Oh, that's my timer going off. I don't know if you guys heard that buzz. But, uh, yep, yeah, that's that's the timer. So I've got like a thousand troops. Uh, I guess, yeah, it's those guys. I wish I could disband just the, the local levies. But I don't think I can. Anyways, everybody else, go go there. Everybody go hang out there while the main army moves forward into Welligrad. And then we shall see what happens. Hopefully we can finish this war before the uh, 
Fly, little bird, fly. Yes, kill the young child and give me 100 gold. Hopefully we can finish this war before... Oh, crap. Um, before the, the hunt. Before September, is it? I think it's September. So we should win this, no problem. What do you want? Arrange marriage between my court chair and that guy. Sure. I'm fine with that. I. Great. So we killed the kid. We got the money. Awesome. And he didn't know that I killed him, which is even awesomer. So now we give away... What was it? It was one of these? Yeah, it was Helsingland. What a useless piece of territory. Actually, while I'm here, is there... Mm, no, I was thinking about landing somebody with good stats, but I don't... Yeah, effort. Effort. Alright. Actually, we should probably land... Mm, where is that... Yeah, so you guys are both in my court, right? Yeah, this is the guy with the claim. Alright, so we're gonna land this guy. And then this way we will have... Or we'll be able to uh, press his claims, right? His claim thing should show up. Uh, maybe? Do I have to, like, wait a tick? Did I do that wrong? Okay, no- what? Hold on. Okay, there it is. Perfect. Yeah, so now he's he's my vassal I can claim Scotland. Which is pretty sweet. So anyways, we won that battle. And yeah, I've never actually stopped on these screens before, but you can see um, pretty useful information on here, actually. Other, other than just the casualties, survives, and all that. You can see how much war score you gain, prestige, piety. This is where I gained all my prestige and piety before, when I was super surprised that I was able to do stuff with uh, very little piety, uh, piety. Like when this emperor came into power... He had nothing, and then within like two or three years, he was able to declare a bunch of holy wars because, you know, he gained piety from battles. I don't know why you actually don't gain it from fighting against these guys. Maybe because it's just a du jour claim. But no, it's a holy war, actually, so I'm kind of surprised you don't gain piety. Anyways, and then you got some tech points. Really? Is that like they're more tech oriented than me? That's kind of surprising. But anyhow, that's going to be basically it. We can crush his army and then split our forces, and uh, yeah, we should be good. So I want to just do that before before the episode ends. No! Stop with the... Oh, come on. Why is it that all my amazing wives... Like... Okay, just ignore it. She is not going to die. She is totally not going to die. I'll be so pissed if she dies. Okay, well, you guys are going there, so I'm just going to meet him with these guys, and I guess we might as well just siege the capital. What's our attrition? 3.4%. That's pretty bad, but, you know, that's whatever. Actually, do I have uh, any siege leaders? Just to make this go by a little bit faster. Siege leader? Really? Nope, that's a rough terrain expert. Come on, show me that catapult. I don't see anybody. Oh, that kind of sucks. Alright, just keep hanging out there, I guess. So that's that, and then we'll just send everybody out here. I know we're going to suffer some massive attrition because of it, but... At least we'll be able to rush this pretty fast. And, uh, I honestly don't care about a little bit of attrition, because the war is going to be over soon, and it's not going to be that many troops lost to attrition anyways. I don't like the fact that Poland is expanding so much, but, you know, what can you do? So, we still don't have enough. That's too bad. That's not... this is not going to help. This is not going to help at all. Um, can I send... here, you probably got a whole bunch of troops. There you go. You can come help me. I just want to rush it. You know, there's... I don't want to wait for the attrition to kill all my troops, so I'd rather just rush everything. And I guess you lose troops that way as well, but... What is this? He just... Chill out, dude. He just turned six. Who do you think's gonna educate him? Obviously, it's gonna be me. It's my... my second born? Why am I not educating my daughter? Right, because I don't care. Uh, yeah, he's my second born. He's gonna be educated by me. Obviously. There you go. 
Come on, troops. Show yourselves. My half-sister died after a period of illness. That's kind of poopy. She did have a whole bunch of daughters and whatnot. She's got a claim on my empire. Get out of here, kid. I guess they all do because they're related to me. Whatever, that's not going to affect me in any way. Alright, there we go. Troops are here. Ugh. Okay, let's wait for the morale to go up to 100 and then we'll rush. Hey, my wife is pregnant. Is she... Oh, she doesn't have grapepox anymore. Awesome. Good stuff, lady. If she sticks around for a while, then I'll be super happy. Because she's... Okay, let's rush. This might hurt. Oh, no, we're, we'll be good. Yeah, she's uh, she's an amazing character, so... Okay, so you do get, you get some piety from the sieges. Alright, yep, wait, yep. Just siege all the things. Rush all the things. Almost at 100. God damn it! Independence! Alright, so Ireland and and uh, Wales are going to go independent. I don't even want to look over there right now. Just finish this first. Alright, good. So we have that. That's all That's all great. Disband. These guys in port and let's see what we got to deal with. That's it? Are you guys serious? <laughs> I thought it was... It looked a little bit more frightening than that, but no, I guess it's all just a bunch of individual counts. I'm kind of surprised the, uh, oh, she didn't join because she's a child, probably. I could actually kill her off. Excellent. Can you usurp a title, Duchy of Willigrad. Yeah, I guess I could do that. I... Shoot. See, the problem I'm having right now is because if I usurp his title, I'm basically going to have to give it away to somebody in here. And since I'm planning on putting a Catholic in power over one of these... He's just going to get get rejected right away from by his duke. So I could just leave you as a duke. It's not like you can do much. Do you even own? Yeah, you don't even own any of my county. Hmm. Anyways, though, I think this is probably a really good time to call the episode. Actually, before I forget. How are you? Uh, do you have... Oh, man, you've got a whole bunch of people. I was thinking about maybe creating a uh, republic. Might not be a bad idea if I create a republic, say, here, Mecklenburg. Or Rugen. I think Rugen is one of the um, the places that can that the Yums Vikings can spawn in. I guess it doesn't really matter which one I... Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to create a republic here. So, let's give you... Uh, let's... I don't... Mm, do I want to make a new vassal that way, or do it this way? Actually, you know what, I'm going to call the episode here, because it's going to be getting long. So, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, so let me know. Next episode, we will be dealing with a uh, small little issue out over here in Wales and Ireland and blah, 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 blah. What? Oh, this guy revolted too. This dick. I hate it when they revolt. I just I put you in power out here for a reason. Thought he was content. I guess not. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll be calling it here. So if you guys enjoyed, let me know. Next episode, we will be dealing with that little rebellion. And I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll work it out from there. Probably going to have to start dealing with Lithuania soon. So yeah, I'll uh, catch you guys in the next episode. Take care.